Hello everyone, my name is Anis with Signworks Technologies and you are watching my YouTube channel. <clears throat> Today I'm going to talk about how to copy the running configuration from one Cisco device to another Cisco device. Just copy and paste and make some uh, changes if you need to. Okay, so let's get that in. So like for example, today I'm going to uh, copy the running configure from this switch. I'm going to go to the putty to the console. Okay, and let me just make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. <clears throat> so let's see, I'm going to do show run. First, I have to see if show run. Okay. I'm going to show you guys one more command is because uh, like, for example, now I have entered this command show run and it just showed me, you know, like one page and uh, I have to uh, see this more. It's so uh, I have to hit the space bar to go to the next page. Okay, so we'll just go one page at a time. And sometimes uh, some of the switches have like very long uh, configuration file so you have to go through like 30 or 40 or even more pages the easiest uh, thing for that is I'm gonna do terminal and then length and I'm gonna do zero so zero it will show you like uh, there will be no length you can just go all the way to the end okay so terminal length zero and see the magic okay i'm going to do show run and then enter and it will go all the way to the end okay so now i'm going to copy the whole thing all the show running configuration and and the good thing easy thing in cisco is you just copy like you, you just select the uh, commands and it will copy it Okay, now I'm going to go to Notepad and do Paste. But um, let's see if I have to make some changes. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, make those changes here. Like, let's say this switch is. Okay, this is the host name. I just changed it and let's see what other changes we can make like the, for example if i don't want username anise on that switch so i'm gonna select and delete okay and uh, let's suppose we do not need these two vlans on the new switch so i'm gonna delete them too and uh, let's see this ip for the new switch, the IP address is supposed 27. So I'm going to assign this to the interface. Okay, so that should be good for the purpose of this class. <coughs> Excuse me. So, okay, let's go and add another switch into the... Mm, Eve, I'm gonna go right click node and I'm going to select. Let's suppose I want to do this switch. Let's change the, the icon so it looks the same like the one at the interfaces. Save, right click on it, turn it on, and once it's ready, and we're gonna okay so i'll go to party expand that a little bit okay as usual we say no and so since it's a switch uh, we have to wait for a few seconds so it can show you all the interface status every time you power on the switch it will show you this okay so i'm gonna do show run just to show you guys uh there is no configuration as you guys can see no host name um next page no ip addresses okay and there's just one vlan 
by default line console no configuration line vti no configuration i'm gonna go to my switch my uh, notepad and select control a and control c select all and here when i come to the switch i'm just gonna right click see something okay so we do not have the config so i'm gonna type it here config t or i can just go to config t here and then right click it's the same thing you know or even if i do it like twice it will not make any difference so and i'm gonna just right click okay as you guys can see that's how easy it is instead of going to every single interface and you know uh, configure interfaces and all those things one by one that's the easiest way you know just to go ahead and like copy and paste to just make a few changes but um, as I recommend you guys um, always I will you know encourage you guys to verify your work guys because you will be a network engineer and you will be responsible for um, switches routers firewalls and all those things your job is not just to configure but your job is to make sure everything is up and running and that's why you have to verify your work because one single error can you know create like a big problem for your network or your business so we have to verify uh, as you guys can see okay so until end there is no error see console configuration all commands accepted here same here same okay so except this command i i can see you know there's, there's a error at this point so it means there's some issues okay other than that uh oh and here see since i was already in config and in my notepad configuration config t was added there like here so that's why you know it gives you an error but other than that um the rest of the configuration is good <clears throat> so i'm gonna do the same thing here terminal length zero uh, and do show run okay so you don't have to go to like every single page you can copy this command uh, to notepad if you wanna you know or if you can just go here and check one by one like check the interfaces the ip address is this okay and the host name also changed the username is admin password cisco so keep one thing in mind again that every time you guys configure a username and password you have to verify it otherwise you know once the switch is um you know like uh, online in the production environment and you got stuck then you will have an issue you know logging and you have to do password reset or some other uh, ways you know to reset the password okay so i'm gonna go disable and i'm gonna do enable and the password was s for secret okay and that's it and let me show you guys the password for secret so service encryption and this is the enable password enable secret the command and the password i assigned was s just to remember it that's why you know you have to just enter this command and make sure you are able to log in Okay, that was the enable password. And logging synchronous password B for the console, C is for the console, and password V is for the VTY and you know the rest of the configuration. 
So let's see if the IP address is good. Show IP interface brief. Okay, so IP address has been accepted and this interface is up and running. Okay, that was the easiest way to copy your configuration. But again, uh, I would encourage you guys to, you know, pay attention to the when you do this, because if you make a mistake, um, you will, you know, um, you will have to do that configure uh, manually. So every every time you do the, this, you have to just go back and check your work and make sure everything was according to the requirements. Okay, so that's it for today, and I would request you guys to log uh, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.